first week of the virtual holiday hammers club today we have some more action-packed activities for you all to take part in we hope you enjoy seconds and then we're going to be doing hill flicks for 30 seconds okay and after we've done each one of those we're just going to go straight into the next one okay so all you need to do is just find a space for yourself okay once you've got enough space we're going to get started okay so is everyone ready okay so what we're going to do is we're going to jog on the spot for 30 seconds three two one and go so it's just a light jog on the spot for 30 seconds making sure you're moving bringing your knees a little bit high okay make sure you're pumping your arms as well so we'll keep going, keep going, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, okay, straight into high knees, so you want to bring it all the way up for 30 seconds, there we go, keep it going, make sure you're driving it all the way up to your hip, Last 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now straight into heel flicks. So we're just flicking it up here for 30 seconds. Okay, let's go. Make sure you're always trying to keep your hands here, okay? Excellent, last 30 seconds, uh, sorry, 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so our first skill is going to be toe taps, okay? So we're going to place the ball in front of us and the objective of this is to try and see how many times your toe can touch the ball. Now the reason we're doing this is to make sure we're keeping close control of the ball, okay? So if you're in a little bit of danger, you can use the sole of your foot to keep control using toe taps, okay? Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie myself for a minute and I'm gonna give you guys my score and if you can beat that, that's gonna be perfect and you can give yourself an extra point, okay? So I'm gonna do it at my pace and we'll see if you guys can beat it. So we've got one minute on the clock Three, two, one, and go. So we're just keeping the ball at our feet. We're not rolling it forwards or backwards. We're just keeping it at our feet. So I'm gonna keep count while I'm doing this. And that's time, okay, that's my score. If you can beat that, give yourself an extra 10 points, we'll say. 
Okay, so our next skill is going to be inside touches or TikToks or penguin dribbles, whatever you want to call them, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to place the ball in between our feet and we're going to knock the ball side to side using the inside of our feet. Now a player that's very, very good at doing this is Lionel Messi. If you watch a few of the clips on YouTube, you'll be honestly, you'll be amazed at how good he is at keeping the ball in between his feet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to time myself for one minute and at the end I'll give you my score and if you beat my score then you'll get yourself an extra 10 points. Okay so all you need is a small area like this, ball in between your feet and we're going to get ready to go in three, two, one and go. And that's one minute, okay? So all I was doing, was I was on my toes, there was loads of little touches. If you can beat my score, give yourself 10 extra points. Okay, so the next activity, we're gonna be using all the different parts of our foot, the sole, laces, inside, outside, okay? We're gonna be using all them parts of our feet, okay? So what I've done in this little area here, is I've set up small gates, okay? And you can do the same at home. If you've got a pair of trainers, you can set them up side by side, which will create a gate. If you've got two uh, T-shirts, or jumpers it's entirely up to you okay so all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using one part of the foot to start off with okay so that will be my outside uh, sorry my inside okay so I'm going to use the inside of my feet to dribble around the area okay now once you pass through the gate you must change the part of the foot that you're using okay so if I'm using the inside and I travel through a gate I can no longer use that part I can either use my laces the sole of my feet or the outside okay so I'll give a quick demonstration I'm using the inside of my feet I go through a gate, once I'm through the gate, I can now use a different part of my foot, okay? So now I'm going to use the sole of my foot. Okay, now we're going to be doing that for one minute, okay? You guys are going to do it at the same time as me. Every time you pass through a gate, that's one point, okay? And at the end, we'll compare our scores. If you get better than me, then you can give yourself 10 points, okay? So we're going to go for a minute, starting in three, two, one, and away we go, okay? So every time you pass through a gate, use a different part of your foot. Okay? Last 10. And hold it there. Okay, if you've got a better score than me, give yourself an extra 10 points. Okay, so our next activity, we're going to be doing a little bit of a combination using different parts of our foot. So to start off with, we're just going to be going from the sole to the inside or the sole to the outside. Okay, so for example, okay, when I've got the ball, I'm going to roll the ball with the sole of my foot and then I might use the inside of my other foot to bring it back this way. Okay, same as if I want to use the sole of my foot and then drag it out for the outside of my foot this way. Okay, so all I've done in here is I've just set out little cones as markers as a guidance for me. And again, you can do the same with the items we've got 
at home. Okay, so we're gonna go for one minute. Okay, we're gonna do it together and at the end, we'll compare our scores. Okay, so remember, sole to the outside, we can go sole to the inside, okay? So it's entirely up to you what way you want to do it, okay? Ready, three, two, one, and go. So sole inside, sole outside, sole inside, sole outside, sole inside, sole outside. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, if you've got a better score than me, give yourself an extra 10 points. Okay, so our next session, okay, we're gonna be working on our close control. So again, we're gonna be using all the different parts of our feet. And to start off with, you wanna set yourselves up four clones or four household, household items just approximately one step away from each other, okay? So I'm gonna start at the back and we're gonna move forward together, okay? So I'm gonna start back here and all we're going to be doing is moving the ball forwards, one cone, and then moving it back. Then moving it forward, two cones, and then moving it back. Then moving it forward, three cones, and then moving it back. And once we've done that, we'll keep going until our minute is up. Okay, so as a demonstration, I'm going to use the inside or the outside of my feet to move the ball forward first, okay? So I'm going to move it forward. Once I get to the first cone, I'm then going to start going backwards, looking over my shoulder using the sole of my feet. Okay, so I've got to the first cone. I'm now going to come backwards using the sole of my feet. Then I'm going to go forwards to the second cone. Then I'm going to use the sole of my feet to go backwards. Make sure we're checking our shoulders as well to make sure we don't trip over anything. Then we're going to move forward to the third cone Use the sole of our feet to bring the ball back. Okay, once you've done that, you keep going back to the first cone, second, and third, until our minute is up. Okay, so our one minute is gonna start in three, two, one, and away we go. So to the first cone, and back. Second cone, and back. Make sure you're checking your shoulders. Third cone, and back. Another 10 more seconds. And hold it there, okay. Well done guys, keep it going until the next session. Okay, so the next activity, we're just gonna be using our thighs and we're gonna be catching the ball at the end. Okay, so we're going to go thigh, thigh, and then catch. Every time you catch the ball, after you've, after you've completed two thighs, Okay, that is one point. Okay, so I'll give a quick demonstration. Thigh, thigh, catch. That would be one point, okay? So we're gonna go for one minute, and at the end, if you get better than me, then you're gonna give yourself an extra 10 points. Okay, our minute is gonna start in three, two, one, and away we go. Thigh, thigh, catch. Thigh, thigh, catch. Thigh, thigh, catch.
make a mistake, that's fine. Just pick the ball up and keep going. There we go, keep going. Last 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. If you get a better score than me, give yourself an extra 10 points. Okay, so our next activity, we're gonna be using another combination. We're gonna go thigh, thigh, and then foot, and then catch again every time you catch the ball that would be a point okay so i'll give a quick demonstration fly fly kick and a catch okay so we're going to be going for one minute okay if you get a better score than me at the end give yourself an extra 10 points okay so our one minute is going to start in three two one and away we go so fly fly kick catch fly fly kick catch Again, if you make a mistake, that's fine. We all make mistakes. You just keep going until the one minute is up. There we go, another 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold it there. Okay, if you get a better score than me, give yourself an extra 10 points. Okay, so the next activity, all we're going to be doing is traveling in the letter B shape. Okay, so again, we're going to be using all different parts of our feet. We're going to go forwards, past this cone here, then I'm going to drag it back, and then I'm gonna travel the other way, going forwards in the shape of the letter V. Okay, now again, you can use any part of your foot to go forwards, but on the way back, you must use the sole of your foot to drag it back this way. Okay, so again, you can go forward using any part of your foot, but as you're coming backwards, use the sole of your feet to then go the other way. Okay, so again, we're gonna go for one minute. Every time you make the letter V, go from one side to the other and back. Okay, that is one point. And if you get more than me at the end, then give yourself an extra 10 points. Okay, so our one minute is gonna start in three, two, one, and away we go. So I'm going forward, and I'm using the sole of my feet to come back. And forwards, and coming back. That would be one point. There we go. Keep it going. Using the sole of the feet on the way back. There we go, last 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold it down. Okay, if you got more than me or beat my score, give yourself an extra 10 points. Okay, so our next activity, again, we're just gonna set up a box like this and we're gonna use each of the corners. Okay, so you're gonna travel from one corner to, the, to another corner, and once you get to the other corner, we're gonna be doing a creative turn. Okay, so to start off with, I'll give you a few. We can do a Cruyff turn once we get to a cone, so I'll travel to this cone here, and I'll bring the ball through my legs, and then travel to another cone. I can then travel to whatever cone I want. If I wanna to get to here, maybe drag the ball back, and hit it with the outside of my foot, 
and then travel to another cone, feel free to do that. Okay, so there's loads of different turns we can do. Again, be creative. You can do a 360, which is just dragging the ball that way and spinning your body using the other foot. There's loads and loads of turns we can do. Okay, so we're gonna go for one minute. Every time you get to a cone and turn, that will be one point, okay? And again, if you beat my score, give yourself an extra 10 points, okay? So start at one cone. Once you're at that cone, our one minute is going to start in three, two, one, and away we go. So I'm going to travel to this cone, and I'm going to drag it back and do an L turn. Come to here, drag it using the other side of my foot, okay? Every time you get to a cone, turn and change direction. Try not to go in the shape of a square, because we wouldn't be doing that in a football match. There we go, 15 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax there, okay? If you've got a better score than me, give yourself an extra 10 points. Okay, so our next activity, we're gonna be doing toe taps going across the box from forward and we're gonna be going backwards, okay? So a toe tap is just using the edge of your foot, your toes to roll the ball forward. Okay, once you get to the end of your box, you're gonna be coming backwards, bringing the ball all the way back, looking over your shoulder so you know where you're going, okay? Now for every time you go forward and backwards, that will equate, equate sorry, to one point. Okay, so you're rolling it forwards, using your toes, once you get to the end, roll it backwards, looking over your shoulder so you know where you're going, that will be one point, okay? So we're gonna go for one minute, and at the end, if you get a better score than me, then give yourself an extra 10 points, okay? So start at the back of your box, and our one minute is gonna start in three, two, one, and away we go. So just using your toes to roll it forward, once you get to the end, roll it backwards, just using your toes, That'll be one point. Okay, we're halfway done. Keep it going. Checking your shoulders so you know exactly where you are. There we go, 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Okay, if you've got a better score than me, give yourself an extra 10 points. staff at the University of East London. For today's show and tell, I want to see your favourite snack. Send us your show and tell by either tagging us on social media or by emailing in on the email address below. We're all excited to see what you have to show us today. <music> show and tell. We hope you enjoy our home and we can't wait to see what you send in. 
Up next today, we've got our quiz, and this time it's with Coach Cormac. Good luck, and don't forget to send in your scores. Hello, everyone. So, question number one is, what's the orange bit in the middle of the egg called? Question number two, what's the collective name for trees that keep their leaves all year round. Question number three. What football team is currently at the top of the Premier League? Question number four. What is the tenth letter of the alphabet? Question number five. Who is the nation's PE teacher? Question number six. How many zeros are there in 1,000? Question number seven. Who wrote the Harry Potter books? Question number eight. Who is the Prime Minister of Britain? Question number nine. What is closer to Earth, the moon or the sun? Question number 10. Which travels faster, light or sound? Question number 11. Who is the fastest 100 meter runner in the world ever? Question number 12. What's the name of Anna and Elsa's kingdom in Frozen? Question number 13. How many wives did Henry VIII have? Question number 14. 
Question number 14. What's the name of the cowboy in Toy Story? Question number 15. Who wrote The Gruffalo, Room on the Broom and Tiddler? Question number 16. What type of fish is Nemo? Question number 17. What is the chemical formula for water? Question number 18. How many planets are there in our solar system? Question number 19. Who was behind the gunpowder plot on the Houses of Parliament in 1605? Remembered every year on bonfire. Question number 20. How many players are in a football team? So the answers, the answer to number one was yoke. The answer to number two was evergreen.
answer to number three was Liverpool Football Club. The answer to number four was the letter J. Answer to number five was Joe Wicks. The answer to number six was three. Answer to number seven was J.K. Rowlin. The answer to number eight was Boris Johnson. Answer to number nine was the moon. The answer to number ten was light. Answer to number 11 was Usain Bolt. The answer to number 12 was Arundel. Answer to number 13 was 6. Answer to number 14 was Woody. Answer to number 15 was Julia Donaldson. The answer to number 16 was Clownfish. Answer to number 17 was H2O. Answer to number 18 was 8. to 
number 19 was Guy Fawkes. <laughs> to number 20 was 11. here, Program Development Manager at West Ham United Foundation. Your break to create challenge today is to design your own football. Please send in your entries via email or via the link below. We look forward to seeing what you create. Mm -hmm.